CBS 4 meteorologist Dave Warren joining us now with a look at the rest of our weekend forecast. Yeah, the rest of the weekend, well, a little cooler. Uh, temperatures dropped last night. The breeze, it's out of the northeast about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Might turn to the north just a bit, so we'll keep it a little cool overnight. Some areas could even drop into the upper 50s, especially up here into Broward County, maybe farther south into the lower 60s. Right now, we're in the upper 70s. Clouds are around. There's even a few showers. We'll look at a little bit of activity over the interior here. Uh, this is west of the metro areas in Broward County, but a little uh, shower or two just off the coast might uh, see a few showers pushing through the area. It'll be light, uh, but not completely dry overnight tonight. Satellite radar shows little circulation. There's a little area of low pressure that's just off the coast and another bigger one uh, here just off the northern Florida Peninsula coast there. It'll stay there, but it's creating a very strong gusty northeast wind uh, that continues to gust and we're seeing that persist over the next few days. The problem with this up here, it's not really directly impacting us here in South Florida, but we're getting some swells and increased surf that's working its way down the coast. Look at these wind speeds, 25, 35 miles an hour. This goes all the way through Sunday, all the way through Monday. Finally, by Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll start to see it get a little calmer, but we'll stop it there midday Monday still along the Carolinas and up towards Jacksonville, uh, we're getting that strong northeast wind. These are the wave heights and they do work their way all the way south here in the South Florida uh, wave heights of four to six feet, especially up in the Palm Beach County uh, where it'll be a little rougher. So rough surf, rip current risk is high, small craft advisory in effect. And uh, with those areas of low pressure just off the coast, we do get an occasional shower that spins through the area. That's around tomorrow, maybe a little more sunshine in the afternoon. Still a little cool though, and we'll still see a few clouds around on Monday, but by Tuesday and Wednesday, all of that moves out and we'll get that warmer breeze returning. Small craft advisory, that's in effect. You get that northeasterly swell, develop Sunday, building seas, especially just off the coast, six to 10 feet, and that'll continue through early, the early next week, even through Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, it's starting to get a little calmer. Small craft advisory, that winds out of the north and northwest, two to three foot seas, there's a light chop. Uh, the advisory going all the way through Sunday. Temperatures up to 77 degrees tomorrow, so still another cool day, showers around, that winds northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. First day of spring. It's a little cooler this weekend here and we'll see temperatures going into the lower 80s and mid 80s there by Wednesday and Thursday. So once the wind dies down a bit, actually turns to the south, that pushes our temperatures up a good bit there from Tuesday to Wednesday. We're back to about 86 degrees by the end of the week. Back to you.